Insurance companies have been denying people for years, dumping people for years. Obamacare is trying to do something about it. What are you trying to do about it? Van, the focus should be on the millions of Americans who are hurting because of Obamacare. And the millions of, of people who are being pushed into part-time work, working 29 hours a week because of Obamacare. On the people, the 110,000 IBM retirees who received a letter saying they're losing their health insurance because of Obamacare. The 15,000 UPS employees who received, who received a letter saying that they were losing their spousal coverage, their husbands and wives were losing their coverage. And Van, let me suggest sure. what success should be. I don't know if this deal that was just reported on will be a deal or not, sure. but let me suggest what the test for success should be. Success should be meaningful relief mm -hmm. for the millions of Americans who are hurting because of Obamacare. My about, test for success will be, does it help the single mom who's forced to work well, 29 no, hours a week and is struggling? All, and if it does, it's a good outcome. Let's talk about those single moms. And if it moms. doesn't, it's a lousy Let's talk about those single moms. In your state, sir, mm -hmm. in your state, 25% of the people in your state have no health insurance at all. And there are single mothers right now who have cancer, who have pre-existing conditions, and they can't get any help from anywhere except through Obamacare. And if it were up to you, those single moms would be uh, staying up at night with no hope and no help for them or for their children. And you have yet to put on the table anything that would do something about that. You are now blaming everything that's wrong in America on Obamacare. That is demagoguery, sir. Uh, that is can, demagoguery. Let me jump in because we can have that discussion all day long. And it's an important discussion. Obamacare is big and it's going to make an important difference. And we should be having continued discussions about it. What we should not be doing is shutting down the government of the United States, threatening the credit of the United States in order to improve a bargaining position and basically force the United States into a hold hostage situation. That isn't helpful. That isn't productive. That is, the, to use a phrase that Republicans have used, the box canyon the extremists have forced ourselves into. And when we solve that, as soon as the government's back operating, as soon as the debt limit is not threatened by extremism and we can not have that shadow fall over our economy, we'll negotiate on everything. Well, let me respond to both of those. First of all, with all respect, Van, what you said is simply not true. I am a big supporter of health care reform. I think we need to allow interstate competition, a national marketplace, to lower cost, expand availability, and to make health care personal and portable and affordable. And I am a huge proponent of that and have been talking about that a long, long time. Now, secondly, uh, what Sheldon said there, I'm curious, do you think the Senate should vote on the 14 bills the House has already passed to fund vital priorities like the VA, like our parks? No, like, no you, I think so that's you a don't, sham. So you don't think we should even sham. vote on them? I don't because... You can waste time voting on them, and every one you vote is a vote to leave every other agency that's not in that particular bill shut down. So, to Sheldon, deny what the do you say to the I veterans? Have, I haven't interrupted you. To deny the services that the American people count on from all those other agencies. I say to the veterans, and I say to people who are served by EPA, and I serve to people who have safe stock portfolios because of the Securities and Exchange Commission, and I say to people who have fire protection because of federal programs, I say to all of them, open the government up and let's negotiate like Americans do and let's not negotiate by harming other people and saying that unless you have it your way, you're going to keep hurting these innocents. Good, good, That's good what's enough. wrong and hey, putting an end to that. I think we have good news on that. 